are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, guys, we need to talk about Brittany Griner here in this video. The WNBA season is going to be starting soon, which I'm pretty sure that uh, nobody actually knew. But she actually gave her first press conference uh, yesterday. And she was actually asked about transgenders in sports. Now, a question was actually asked by um, woke ESPN reporter Bill Roden. Now, the way Bill Roden actually phrased this question was, is how does she actually feel about transgenders being banned in sports? That is not what's actually happening. What's actually happening is sports are separated by sets. Women have their own sports. Uh, men have their own sports. But what we're seeing is we're seeing people like Leah Thomas go into women's sports because Leah Thomas is a biological man going into um, women's sports and dominating them. It puts actual women at a disadvantage. And Bill Roten, man, is a disgrace. Journalism, man, is definitely um, dead in this country. It is dead. But he's from ESPN, so I'm not really, really surprised because ESPN has definitely jumped on the agenda with the whole uh, having um, biological males in women's sports. They're all for that. Remember, they actually honored Leah Thomas last month doing a Women's History Month. That was a slap in the face, if you ask me, to actual women. But I believe that Brittany Griner knew exactly what he was actually saying. Now, to the dumb people out there. They're going to look at it and say, wait a minute, wait a minute. Trans people are being banned from sports. That's not the case. That is a lie. And Bill Roden knows that's a lie. But he has to keep on with that agenda. Uh, look at this uh, tweet from uh, Jason Whitlock here. No surprise from Brittany Griner. Listening to Bill Roden grovel through that question is what's interesting and telling. Uh, but broken. <laughs> but broken. My goodness. Uh, absolutely embarrassing. There's no position he won't take. For the right price. And Brittany Griner, she responds saying that, hey, it should actually be a crime to keep biological men out of women's sports. Now, she is in the WNBA. And I've already predicted, guys, that we're going to see a biological male in the WNBA within three years. And Brittany Griner is just pretty much signing off on that. They're going to destroy themselves. They are going to destroy themselves. No doubt about it, guys. But let's go ahead and listen to uh, Brittany Griner and uh, woke uh, Bill Roden here. He's going to ask this question. Let's play it. Good morning, uh, Brittany. I'm uh, Bill Roden from ESPN Anscape. It's really great to see you. It's good to know the prayers have been answered. Uh, the question, um, you've always represented so much throughout your entire career about access and you know, being able to do stuff. And I hate to put one more thing on your plate, but there, there are a number of states who are aggressively moving to prevent transgender athletes playing. And I was wondering, again, you see, you see how you asked that question, trying to prevent transgender athletes from playing. That's not happening. That is not happening. That is a lie right there. But anyway, I would hate to put one more thing on your plate, but in terms of your on your radar, where is that? Um, you're going to have a tremendous platform, but where is that going to be on your radar in terms of advocating for, um, you know, athletes, all athletes, transgender athletes, to be able to play? Oh, I mean that that ranks high on the on the list of, of things that I'll be fighting for and speaking up against. You know, everyone has everyone deserves the right to play. Everyone deserves the right to to come here, sit in these seats, and feel safe and not feel. Um, like there's a threat or they can't be who they are or um, like like it's just all eyes on them. Uh, so um, I think it's a crime, honestly, to to separate um, someone for any reason. Um, so I definitely will be speaking up against against those that legislation and those laws that are trying to be passed for sure. Yeah. And uh, Brittany Griner just um, in this same uh, interview was actually calling on companies to actually invest in the WNBA. But, you know, they're going to go full political here. 
And Brandy Griner is perfectly OK, it seems, with um, biological men coming over into women's sports. I'm not surprised by this. Pay attention, uh, NBA. You uh, you guys that want an opportunity that's sitting at the uh, end of the bench. Brittany Griner just gave you an open opportunity to go over into the WNBA. Guys, take the worst player in the NBA. And they would they would absolutely dominate the women. It would be a bloodbath. That would be. It wouldn't even be a competition, to tell you the truth. It's only going to take one. And I believe if you get one, just one biological male to jump over to the uh, WNBA, it's over for the WNBA. You're going to start seeing two, then three of them. They're going to say, hey, I can get a career. And you know what? They may actually end up growing um, the WNBA. More eyeballs may actually be on it when you actually see that. Um, let's say LeBron James actually did it. He went over. And he uh, changed his name to LeCaron James. <laughs> and the headlines would be LeCaron James averages a record 100 points per game. Because I believe that would truly happen, guys. 100 points per game. Why? Because there's a biological difference between males and females. Brittany Griner just pretty much signing the death warrant here of the WNBA. See, the WNBA is too woke for the for their own good. They want biological men to come in. She sounds just like a uh, Megan Rapino. Sounds exactly like Megan Rapino. This is pretty pathetic, guys, but I'm not surprised that uh, Brittany Griner would actually come out and say, hey, it's a crime. It's a crime. I mean, you actually got females that are getting hurt. By biological males coming into their sport. But Brittany Griner says it's a crime. No, what's a crime is that you actually do have biological men going over into women's sports. And in some cases, injuring females. Peyton McNabb, severely injured by a biological male. Riley Gaines actually tied with uh, Leah Thomas and they refused to give her the trophy. They said, hey, we need to give it to Leah for a photo op. You, the biological woman, you're just going to be pushed aside. Yeah, Brittany Griner, you need to wake up. You need to wake up. She said it's a crime. I mean, Brittany Griner is a person with a criminal record in Russia. My goodness, guys. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.